Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here, back again with another Retro Corner review. Today I have a very cool, special copy of the Warhammer 40k Compendium uh, from White Dwarf. Now, this was a compendium that is basically a compilation of all the 40k articles in the Rogue Trader era. Uh, this is copyright 1980, 1989. Um, it's still in pretty good shape. Uh, it was kept in stasis also known as a three ring binder for that time period, which is why we have the three holes in there. And uh, it's it's kind of loose leaf, so uh, I have to be very, very careful with this copy. But uh, uh, that's the front cover. Let me go ahead and, and uh, slide this over and open up. Um, we'll get into some of the context, or contents here. There's uh, Marnius, Calgar, Marnius Calgar sitting on the throne. <laughs> um, and then there's the, the table of contents for you. What's cool about this book is it was the first compilation book that has the army lists all included. So I'm just going to read through some of these for you real quick. We've got Space Marines army list, Imperial Guard army list, the Squats army list, and the Harlequins army list. So uh, four major army lists, two of those are gone, one of them got renamed, and one of them is still around. I'll let you figure out which is which. But it goes through all the different stuff. We've got the the how to how to become a space marine or what what happens when you become a space marine um, which i'll get into here shortly terminator squads chaplains and commissars medics the badab war uh, which we took inspiration from for all the the badab campaign uh, rough riders white shields uh, imperial guard ogrens imperial guard dreadnoughts war walkers from the eldar vehicles land raiders predators bikes uh, hardware and uh, uh, craters Imperial robots are also included in this book, and the heavy metal teams metal showcase there. Again, copyright 1989 down here from GW. Um, so, Mentor Legion. This book is chock full of really cool artwork. Um, this is the original Mentor's icon. They retconned that to be different later. Um, start is that's him putting on his armor. This is what I was talking about. This is the origins of the Space Marines and how they get all their implants and all that, the Gene C stuff. Basically, this information gets copied and pasted in almost every new edition of the Space Marine Codex. Uh, it's been reprinted, reprinted in a couple of different white, white dwarves, but this is the original um, compilation of all the crazy stuff that a Marine goes through. Secondary hearts, the <laughs> all these random <laughs> organs and stuff. So. I'm not even going to bother to read them all because they're I can't pronounce them. So, and it's like 20, 20 phases, 19 phase, phase 19, and then all the other crazy stuff that goes along with that. So, um, yeah, it's insane. So, uh, moving on, variations between chapters, all this cool stuff. Just keep going here. Stages in the Marine Initiation. I remember this being in a in a White Dwarf was like 180ish around there between 180 and 200. Back, way back in the day um, but yeah all the different implants black carapace it talks about the age range for implantation so again um, they started with 10 year olds and then by the time they're 18 uh, they're still getting their final implants and stuff like that so just all the crazy stuff terminators uh, terminator armor on this page again originally space ring technical dreadnought armor um, wasn't a thing and then a couple of games came out, you know, a couple models later, you've got the uh, Space Marine Terminator armor and what's included with that. Back in the day as well, uh, there's a basic saving throw of 2 plus on a D6. Um, on a, and then again, in second edition, that was changed to uh, like a 3 plus on 2D6, which, and then they had modifiers and stuff like that. So, um, and then, yeah, they talk a little bit about it always confers an armor save. Um, even if it's minus five or more, you still get a six up. That's basically the early edition invulnerable stuff. So, more crazy artwork. Um, I was just like going through here and just looking at some of the craziness. Um, Blood Angels, Crimson Fist, Dark Angels, and that is black. That is not the camera being funny. Like the Dark Angels were black back way back when. Space Wolves. Um, that's before the green, <laughs> where they got to change that over. Um, and you notice also, I want to point one other thing out, it's a Dark Angels chapter marine. Uh, it's a marine, not the Death Watch. So he's in black armor and he's a marine. Again, Dark Angels are now all the marine, all their uh, Terminators, Death Watch. So anyway, just want to point that out. A lot of that stuff came later. Storm Bolters, like weapons, they just more uh, um, 
of the armory of the Space Marine, or, or the Terminators, I guess, kind of stuff that they would use. Uh, Space Marine shoulder badge, uh, basically the Kirk's term Terminators, how that, how that started and how that looked. This is the uh, Psychic Hoods that they had, pretty cool art. It must have been so fun to go back and just design this stuff. So, it uh, talks about how they have uh, the option for like, how refractor fuel work and then also teleporting into battle. Um, sweet, sweet 80s art of a commissar. Uh, and they talk about chaplains of the Imperium and then uh, uh, chaplains in battle. Yeah, cool stuff. Different models for chaplains. Again, it was a compendium of all this different random, semi, semi random stuff from the White Dwarfs that. They wanted to put all in one package for you. So, um, commissars, imperial guard commissars, um, and their kind of importance to the imperial guard. <laughs> Inspiration grows from the barrel of a gun. Yeah. Don't turn around, or the IG commissar will shoot you. Um, medics change to apothecaries eventually, but uh, yeah, craziness, craziness. Uh, the wound chart again. GW with their charts. This was um, kind of for for campaigns and stuff. It's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's on that D100. The, the results uh, it included uh, the results, uh, the downtime, and in-game penalties and stuff like that. So, and then this awesome artwork on the right here. Flesh Eaters, 21st Infantry. Those are IG guys. Squat Infantry up here iron hands and then it kind of goes down again rogue trader you mix and match you you didn't have uh you had different chapters of marines or stuff like that but you kind of built your warband around kind of what models you wanted to and uh made the rules work that way so different system than what we have now except now it's called unbound <laughs> all right so in this section um this is the introduction to the badab war so um, they did some Forge World release some Badab or Bad, Badab era models as well. Uh, Hurry and Blackheart, the, the Astral Claws and, Claws and stuff like that. This is where we get a lot of that uh, information from originally. It has been retconned over the years, but uh, you can see these. <clears throat> excuse me. These are the original chapters that participated in their original color schemes. And then also, if you notice, they have alternate color schemes as well. All right, so just uh, this next section here uh, goes briefly over the Bedab War. It's not a lot of fluff. Uh, it does go over what happened with the uh, Tiger Claws before they became what they are now. Astral Claws and uh, some of the other chapters in here. It's not a whole lot of fluff, but this is where the origins of the Bedab War fluff come from. But more importantly, this is what's really cool about this whole section, um, is the, the original artwork that was included. So you've got all of the chapters that participated in the Badab War, their alternate paint schemes, and like their camo. So you've got, for instance, Red Scorpions here. Everybody's familiar with that kind of gray, dark black, or dark gray, black armor with the yellow trim. Not everybody's aware of their, uh, their secondary pattern. Um, which is the black and red here, as you can see. For another example here, um, salamanders have a weird black and yellow kind of color. Salamanders are now traditionally green. Um, who else do we have? The Space Sharks, Camouflage Variant, uh, Raptor Legion. Also, that's a different from their, their regular colors, I guess. Howling Griffins, that's their original. That's the, uh, the camo scheme. So you can tell, um, kind of GW, the art studio is having a lot of fun with the, uh, the different camo schemes. So, um, you know, fluff-wise, they stopped repainting their camo because it angered the machine spirit. Um, but I don't see why you couldn't paint stuff like this anymore. The Mantis Warriors, for instance, really cool. Um, Kingsley actually had Mantis Warriors this color and that color, so it's cool. It's an alternate option, so it's neat. Um, goes over the Rough Riders and the White Shields. Everybody's still familiar with Rough Riders. When I flipped through the section, I kind of was like, what are the White Shields? So White, sh white Shields are the original conscripts. They have the White Shields because they haven't proven themselves in combat yet. Um, so they are kind of eager to do that. And if they survived, they got to rank up. Um, cool picture of the squats there. But it kind of talks about the rites of passage here. Uh, if you take part in a battle, where's that? Without giving away to fear. So... Um, so again, not very high, um, 
uh, not a very high bar to, to do to not be a white shield anymore to get out of the conscripts, but uh, it's the 41st millennium. There's some scary stuff out there, so maybe it's a little bit higher than I'm thinking. <laughs> but on the battlefield, they're not that great. Uh, back in the day here, weapon skill 2, BS2, strength 3, tough 3. So they're conscripts. Uh, the first IG Ogren here, so all these crazy, crazy old models. Um, I really don't know, don't, don't know what to say about these guys. <laughs> they are crazy looking. So, yeah, uh, we'll say this: they they do they do have a distinct lack of the uh, the auto shotgun. Um, see, like one guy with a gun, everybody else has like swords and medieval clubs and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the, the uh, Ogrens, as some people pronounce them, Ogrens, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, good stuff. They're a ripper gun, but like I said, a distinct lack of a ripper gun in the, the pictures, the medals. So, craziness. So, I think for right now, I'm going to stop here. We'll get to the IG stuff here in a minute, or the next, next, next time on the Retro Corner Review. But uh, I'm going to stop with the, the IG Ogrens there. Um, come back next time and check out more of our crazy awesome Warhammer 40k compendium for Rogue Trader. The White Dwarf compilation for you. So it's been Adam here with another, with another Bulls Retro Corner Review. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and throw us a like, share, subscribe down at the bottom of the page. Comments welcome. Uh, if there's anything I missed in this section, let me know, and then I'll go back and uh, try to try to point those things out for you on the next video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good.